De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y ahora vamos a hablar con Edgar Ferrara eh, aquí en el circuito de las Américas en Austin, Texas, a donde venimos a probar el nuevo Porsche eh, 918 Spider y otros modelos de la Porsche, de los cuales hablaremos en otro show, un show especial dedicado exclusivamente a ese tema. Pero por ahora aquí está Edgar Ferrara en el eh, circuito de las Américas en Austin, Texas. So, uh, here we are at the um, Circuit of the Americas with Edgar Ferrara. Who is a very, he has a very important job here. Uh, you're in charge of everything, has to work with nature more or less, right, Edgar? Sustainability director Sustainability. at the circuit, yeah. yes. It's good to see you again, Javier. Welcome back. Exactly. I, I've been, I was here, I was, I was here a, a few years ago when they started building this thing. There was nothing. I remember standing up in, in, in front of a turn one. It was just like a wooden structure there, and, and they told us, just imagine this is going to be... Uh, Turn one, and now here we are. I remember that. I think we did a construction tour. We walked exactly, around the yeah, site yeah, with yeah. hard hats. Yes. Exactly, absolutely. And it's pretty amazing. So uh, the track has been open now for almost, what, two, two years? Almost, not quite. I mean, the uh, first the inaugural Formula One event was really a little over 18 months ago. It's hard to believe. It, it feels yeah. like it's been, you know, five because so much has happened. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're entering, I guess, our, our kind of second full year of operation, our third calendar year. Yeah. And a lot that's been going on besides the Formula One uh, races. That that's what people really like hear about. But uh, there's a lot going on here, right? Absolutely. Uh, so we had our inaugural Formula One race at the in November of 2012. We've since had two of those now. Last year we had our inaugural events for all the other motorsport events, right? So we had MotoGP. We're actually getting ready for that. That's the next event here, April 11, 12, yeah. 13. Um, last year we had a. Uh, uh, Grand Am and America Le Mans, you know, they've now merged into the Tudor Inside. sports car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they'll be here this September with WEC, the World Endurance Championship. And we also have the Vintage Racing uh, Association, which is a great, fun event. Historic cars actually being raced on the track. Wow, so like a full schedule. And uh, you have finished the Tower and the Amphitheater, I believe. Right. So the motorsport events are one part of our operation. We Last year, um, last spring, we uh, opened up the Amphitheater. It's called the Austin 360. Amphitheater seats about 14,000 spectators. It's the largest outdoor music venue in Central Texas. Last year we had 20 concerts, wow. all kinds of music, country, rock, uh, uh, you know, metal, whatever you want, uh, uh, big names, popular names. This year we're getting ready to start our, our, our second season, and we've also got the X Games uh, coming in June, so we're also going have to have a sports festival. It has a small uh, kind of motor portion with the autocross. Yeah, they do a little bit of autocross with that, right? I yes. think Travis Pastrana was pretty famous in that. I think he's back at that because he didn't like NASCAR that much. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a track over there by 12, 13, by the 12 to 15, the stadium yeah. section, so being reconfigured a little bit to have the autocross event here. Speaking of NASCAR, you should invite NASCAR to come back to this to this track. I mean, this will be fantastic, one of their mixed tracks. Huh? Well, you know, indirectly now um, through NASCAR's involvement in um, IMSA. IMSA, yeah, there's, there, there's, there'll be more presence and more communication. So, you know, that's never know, Never knows, huh? Well, you know, you never know, I suppose. <laughs> We talk to a lot of people, but, but certainly uh, uh, we're excited about Tudor and, and their involvement in that. Yeah. So, uh, Edgar, tell us about more about the story of your job here at the, at the track, because obviously in these 18 short months, you've seen like probably more than a million people going through this place, huh? We have, yeah. We, got a, we had about a million uh, visitors last year. And so uh, my job as sustainability director is, uh, you know, have a lot of hats, just like everybody here. But making sure... Everywhere, we, don't worry. Everywhere, yeah, <laughs> I know. Make the coffee, run the coffees. Yeah. But um, make sure we meet with a lot of our environmental obligations to the, to the city. So... Um, a lot of that has to do with our events, right? So, uh, like Formula One, a quarter million people here over three days. So how can we minimize that impact? So a lot of that has to do with working with our transportation group to make sure we can get people here, uh, get them out of into, uh, automobiles, um, uh, you, you know, have a bus system. We do a lot of recycling, composting. But, for example, some, some fun things we're doing is uh, we've got a MotoGP coming up, and uh, the FIM, who, who's the sanctioning body for that, they have an uh, environmental program in Europe called uh, KISS, Keep It Shiny and Sustainable. And so it's being brought over here to the States. It'll be the first time they do it in North America here at COTA. And uh, their eco-ambassadors for that are Valentino Rossi and Mark Marquez. Yeah. So those are great people to have as your yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, ambassadors. So we're looking at having some, uh, some opportunities for them to, to do some positive messaging and maybe some social activations. We're trying to finalize that in the next couple of weeks. But that's an incredibly fun portion of, of my work, right? To be able to work with the environment, motorsports, 
and yeah. athletes like that. Absolutely. So can you share with us a, a few of the figures maybe? Like you said, a quarter of a million people over three days in a week in a, a Formula One race. Like how much waste is produced over that? And how do you manage that? Right. So, um, yeah, so that's a lot. I'm trying to remember the exact number. It must have been about 100 maybe 100 I think I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was over 100, maybe about 120 tons that went to the landfill. We did recover about 54 tons, which was a big improvement over our first year. And so we, um, uh, most of our, the stuff we recovered was recycled. We also had a lot of material composted. In fact, the verge, you know, the green edge of the track uh -huh. for the 2013 F1 event was fertilized with compost from our 2012 race. So a lot of wow. the leftover food from 2012 was composted and then it came back and fertilized to make the track green for uh, the 2013 for the telecast. We also had eight tons this year that we sent to food rescue, leftover food that went to a food bank. Wow. And uh, the cool thing about uh, you uh, being in this position is that you started here from there again when there was nothing and so you like set up all the programs to make this uh, racetrack uh, environmentally friendly and like so fabulous, right? Yeah, I was. Uh, I think I was. We didn't even have 20 people when I came on board. It's been a fantastic experience. Still love it every day. Um, always something exciting happening here. Yeah. Well, Edgar, thank you very much again. And uh, we're here for a Porsche event, but uh, we'll visit you soon again here at the Circuit of the Americas. Well, and it's a hybrid too. This Porsche yeah. behind well, me. So you talk about you, green cars, right? Well, you did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, while we were talking, you didn't notice it because you were like facing this way. But they move it. They and you move didn't it. hear it. So anything. quiet, right? Exactly. It's amazing. Yeah, and it can run all electric mode, and uh, um, it's it's fantastic. It, yeah, maybe uh, one day you see a race for electric cars here at Dakota. Well, we actually have, uh, that'd be great. We actually have the collegiate uh, uh, event here, which is electric, uh, solar yeah. electric during the summer, but it'd be, uh, I, I think, yeah, you get to Something see some to think more. about. More work for you. <laughs> hey, I'd be welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.